solving the problems related to profit and loss we confront a number of problems it is because we rely heavily on the formula and uh, various identities uh, concerning profit and loss which is given in the books for competitive exams but i personally feel that once you are clear about the concept of profit and loss you can work out the problems of profit and loss without using any formula yes without using any formula so let me just take one minute and clarify the concept of, of profit and loss first then we will come to some of the very common questions of competitive exams which are asked and in which the examiner examinees uh, face a lot of problems so we all know that the cost price of an item is basically what we spend what we spend that is the cost price of the item and the selling price of the item is what we get when we sell sell the item when we sell the item to a different person or in market so cp cost price what we pay and sp selling price what we get on selling a particular item so obviously if sp is greater than cp if we get more and spend less so we have profit and if cp is greater than sp that is what we spend is more than what we get so obviously that there is loss so the profit is calculated on subtracting sp and cp and loss is subtract uh, calculated on subtracting sp and cp in the reverse order so this is a very basic uh, concept say uh, in class 6 the children understand the concept of profit and uh, loss and in subsequent classes they deal with the higher problems of profit and loss now the problem what we face is not in the basics of this topic but when we come across percentages in this topic like we should know one more basic concept is profit percent or loss percent the percentage profit what we get or the percentage loss is always calculated on cp that is the cost price so this is very important concept in profit and loss that whenever we have to calculate the profit percent or the loss percent then we calculate the profit and loss as described here and we divide that by the cost price and multiply by 100 to find the percentage similarly loss is calculated on the cost price and then we multiply it by 100 this is all we need to do all higher problems complicated problems of profit and loss so let us once deal with a problem which is very common say the first problem which i am taking is when we are given the selling price we are given the profit percent or loss percent and we have to calculate the cp now see there are three variables one is the selling price one is profit or loss obviously there cannot be both and the cost price now suppose an item a is sold for rupees 240 it is sold for rupees 240 and when a shopkeeper sells this at rupees 240 he gets 20% profit now i want to know what is the cost price these types of problems can be done mentally without the use of any formula for profit and loss the solution of this problem we have to calculate the cp in the numerator just write the selling price and suppose 
we are selling it for 20% profit then the overall selling price is 120% so just divide by 120% if it is profit add the percentage profit to 100 so 100 plus 20 gives 120% and now this will give you the answer 120% is obviously divide by 100 means 1.2 so this is 2400 upon 12 that gives you rupees 200. See, we have calculated the cost price of the item without using any formula just by little understanding and using the shortcut for finding the cost price. Once again, we are given the selling price. So write the selling price in the numerator and if it is profit then the percentage profit is to be added to 100 that gives us 120 120 percent means 120 upon 100 that is 1.2 and you carry out this calculation and get the cost price in a single step similarly suppose i have incurred a loss now suppose we have rupees 315 as the selling price and we have got 10% loss. Now I want to calculate the cost price again. Now if the cost price is calculated when there is loss then numerator remains the same the selling price and now loss 10% is to be subtracted from 100 to get 90%. So 90% which gives us 315 upon 0 0.9 3150 upon 9 that is rupees 350. See, again we have done this in a single step without using any formula, just the basic concept of finding the cost price using this shortcut. Divide the selling price by the percentage, total percentage that is 100 plus 20 if it is profit. 100 minus 10, 90 if it is loss. So this is one type of problems which is very very common in competitive exams and students face a lot of problem in solving this. Now let us complicate the problem a little bit. Now let us take two aspects of a problem. Say we have an item is sold for the rupees 180 and when it is sold for 180 we get say a 10 percent loss 10 percent loss now i want to have 20 percent profit now what should be my selling price Again a very common question when it comes to competitive exams. So here I have two sides of the problem. The first side is I am given the selling price and the loss percent. So I need to calculate the cost price first just as we did here. So the cost price is selling price is 180 and it is loss. So percentage to be subtracted from 100 so 100 minus 10 90 percent 90 percent is 0 0.9 so this is rupees 200 so now i know that i have the cost price as rupees 200 now coming to the new selling price now the second step is also done orally what i do is the cost price which I have calculated here, I have to just multiply by total. So I have 20% profit, so 100 plus 20%, 120% that is 200 multiplied by 1.2. Now this will give us rupees 240. See? just two lines and we arrive at the answer little bit of understanding of this topic can enable us to solve 
any kind of problem related to profit and loss. Let me take one more little bit of complicated problem wherein I have two aspects of the problem at hand. Now, in the first part, I am being given that the selling price of an item is Rs. 165 and on selling it for Rs. 165, I get 10% profit. Now, I want to know if the selling price is reduced to 105, what should be my profit or loss percent? Now, again, a very, very common problem when it comes to competitive exams. See, SP and profit percent, so I have to calculate the CP. SP is 165, profit means added to 100, 110, so 1.1, 1 .1. so 1650 upon 11, this is rupees 150. So I get the cost price as rupees 150. Now the selling price is rupees 105. Now compare these two. If the cost price is 150 and I am selling it for 105, obviously I have a loss. So loss is 150 minus 105, which is rupees 45. So I have to calculate the loss percent now. So loss percent is, I have the formula for loss percent. Loss is rupees 45. Cost price was rupees 150 multiplied by 100. This will give you 30%. See, just two steps and we get the answer. This is what happens in competitive exams. People who know these basic shortcuts and the understanding, basic understanding of a particular topic do well in exams. They save a lot of time but others struggle to find the answer and spend a lot of time thereby not attempting more, more and more questions in the If we have give, been given that CP of a particular number of items, say M items, is equal to SP of a particular number of items, say N items. Now this is very common condition given in competitive exams. If CP of M items is equal to SP of N items, then we need to find what is the profit percent or loss percent. So if you want to calculate the profit or loss percent, then through shortcut, we can just subtract the two given numbers M and N and divide it by N multiplied by 100 to get the required profit percent or loss percent. Now the question is how will we know whether the obtained answer is profit percent or loss percent. So very simple if the result is positive means we obtain a positive value by subtracting m and n then it implies it is profit percent and vice versa if the result of this calculation is negative then we obtain loss percent. So very easy shortcut, very interesting shortcut and through this shortcut you can solve these particular kind of problems. Now let us try and understand these problems through two examples. Say I am taking the first example when it is given that CP of 10 items is equal to SP of 12 items. Now uh, see here m is smaller and n is larger so m minus n will be negative so obviously we will have loss percent so that is very easy and very uh, accurate interpretation of the statement just by observation that we are going to have loss percent so if we have four options in the question and two options say profit 
percent is there then obviously we have to eliminate those two responses and we will consider only the responses in which we are given loss percent because this is smaller and this is larger so here we have loss percent so what is the loss percent we need to calculate that, that loss percent see this is the difference of m and n so 10 minus 12 obviously we will obtain negative sign here and we have to divide it by n so n is 12 multiply by 100 so we get minus 2 upon 12 into 100 so you cancel this out by 6 further you can cancel by 2 so minus 50 by 3 percent just eliminate negative sign because we will have uh, negative sign implies that we have loss so 50 by 3 if you reduce it to mixed fraction you get 16 2 by 3 percent loss so very easy interpretation of this question very easy shortcut and through this shortcut no formula is to be uh, used in this type of problem say we have one more question this time i will take one example in which m will be greater than n say we have cp of 25 items as equal to sp of we have 20 items now this time this number is greater than this so we have m minus n is positive so if the result is positive then we have profit percent so what is the profit percent difference 25 minus 20 divided by this number 20 into 100 so cancel 20 100 5 times so you get this difference is 5 and multiply by 5 25 percent is the profit so through use of this shortcut this type of problem can be solved in three seconds only so keep learning these type of videos for success in competitive exams and keep sharing and subscribing the channel if you like it